Good day and welcome to the channel. In this video, we're going to explain how to install the Dell Open Managed Server Administrator, better known as OMSA. And what OMSA lets you do is view the status of your hardware, you know, hard drives, the firmware, memory, so on and so forth. It tells you what's defective, what's failing, and the software will also help you with some of those things. Just before we get to that, uh, let's just explain that there's a different product with an awfully similar name called the Dell Open Manage Enterprise software. That is not what you're looking for. OMSA is a smaller product that goes on the server in question, whereas the enterprise version is centralized. Okay, let's move past that. One of the ways you can tell you're on the wrong product is if you go to the Dell Open Manage Enterprise services, you'll see that the current version for the two, whereas OMSA, the current version is 10. So you can easily distinguish between the two of them. Okay, how do you get it? Well, go to dell.ca or dell.com, wherever it is, and search for OMSA 10. Go into support and just search for OMSA 10. It'll come up here. You can see this is uh, version 10.2. Click on that. That takes you to the Dell download site. And when you do that, uh, you can put in your service tag and it will find the product for you. And in our case, it actually said, hey, we've got 10.3. That's the most current build. And we've already downloaded it to save time. Here it is. Now, when you run this, all it does is unzip. And we've already unzipped it to C, open manage. This is a Windows install, so let's run it. Takes a minute, checks for prerequisites, often finds things that you're missing, things like uh, versions of .NET, so, but you can see here all is well except remote enablement. Uh, I don't care, and most people don't, so let's click Install Server Administrator. Let's go to Custom just so you can see what the choices are. Nothing unexpected there. You'll want to choose the default enhanced message format. The only reason to choose the older one is if you're doing some sort of upgrade, so just don't bother with that. You can see that this is going to get deprecated, so don't deal with it. And it's going to def go install in the usual location, see program files. And it explains what the iDRAC is. If you're not familiar with the iDRAC, it's basically a little system board that runs even when the server is powered off. And that allows you to do things like power on a server remotely. Okay, let's click Finish. And there is Server Administrator. Okay, so if I double click on this, it's going to launch an Internet Explorer. And I don't want it to do that. So I'm going to get out of that. I want it to go off to Microsoft Edge. So I'm just going to quickly go change my default app. Internet Explorer to Microsoft Edge. Here we go. Now when I double click it, it'll launch an Edge. And yes, there's no certificate on this. Continue anyway. On the sign-in screen, just click Cancel. And here you use your domain credentials. Now in my case, I wanted to install this because this client's storage, better known as their hard drives, are receiving some errors that we're not able to diagnose. And so this will let us do it. So let's take a look. Let's go into storage. It doesn't like one of these disks. You can see over in the left here, it's expanding. It's degraded, meaning that this RAID 1, being a mirror, is running probably to single disk. Now I want to take a look at the physical disks. So I'm going to expand on the left here. And we can see that this disk has failed. That's a big deal. We need to call Dell and get them to send us a replacement. So right now, this company is running their entire system off of one disk. That is bad. Really bad. Let's see if we can find any more information on this. No, it's just dead. Okay, so we'll deal with that. But because you're here, let's take a quick look through the rest of the system. If you're running through this quickly, it's easy just to expand the menus on the left and not notice the tabs on the top. So let's just show you one thing that you may want to do uh, from time to time is you can go to system and you can shut down here. Power off, power cycle, you can look at logs, Set up your SNMP. Let's go to main server chassis, which is where the fun stuff is. And you can see we can get the battery. We can tell the BIOS status, fans, there's firmware. Let's just keep clicking through here so you can see it. 
Uh, this is a big one, uh, memory, right? You want to know if there's bad memory. What slot is the bad memory in? Network. One of the more useful functions in OMSA is going into remote access. Remote, remote access means IDRAC. That's your remote access to this server, even when the power is off to the main server. Remember, it's just a little circuit board that runs in the back. And as long as the server has power plugged into it, that little circuit board is still running, even if the main server is powered off. Very helpful for remote management. Very helpful when a server is having serious problems. Here you can see what slots are occupied, where are the expansion cards. Temperature. Uh, I've seen this so many times be a big issue. If you're in a server room and you've got uh, the AC that fails and you're working remotely, you want to know what the temperature is. This is the easiest way to find out. Power. One of the nice things about OMSA is that it's web-based, which means you can get to it from other servers. This is on port 1311. That's the default. It can be changed, but that's the default. And so you can just HTTP colon slash slash the IP address or the host name and then colon 1311 from any machine on the same LAN and you can get to it. Very nice. Hey, if you found this video useful, please give us a thumbs up, a like, very much appreciated. And also leave a comment or a question. If we don't get back to you, somebody else will. And you can always get a hold of us at www.urteh, that's www.urtech.ca. Subscribe is also always appreciated. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.